Hello everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I'll be discussing with all of you the 108615 Workout Bulletin by Vince Gironda. Now this workout bulletin is essentially the successor to the uh, Vince Gironda workout bulletin, the first one that came out earlier. And there's a video of that on my channel if you're interested. And both of these are actually available on NSP's website. They are uh, reprints of the originals. So you have, of course, the manila hard cover, or sorry, the manila soft cover, and then the printer paper with the high quality prints inside. And I would highly recommend them. The link's in my bio if you're interested, uh, and in the description of this video as well. But this book, workout bulletin is chock full of information, of course. It's a Vince Gironda workout book, and all of his booklets are just full of information from front to back. I mean, when you open it up, you're just hit with a wealth of knowledge. Honestly, there's so much to go into here. Um, I'm only going to go over the first couple sections, uh, mainly because I don't want to give the whole thing away. I would rather you go out and purchase this and support NSP. Uh, you know, companies like that really, they need our help. Um, they're older companies that maybe the, the support is waning because the crowd is getting older. Um, but I've looked at my, my demographic from my videos and I know a lot of young people are interested in this. So I would highly recommend you go out and purchase this yourself. It's very inexpensive. This, uh, this physical edition is only $15 or so. And the, the digital edition is maybe $10 and it's well worth it. It's full of information, uh, just just jam-packed from front to back. Um, like I mentioned, I'm just going to go over the first couple sections here and maybe show you one or two exercises. The rest will be kind of up to you uh, to go out and, and find this yourself and get yourself one of these because they're really wonderful. But when opening it up, you get the table of contents. So you get each of the sections. Vince Durand, the immortal instructor, then developing the muscles, instinctive training, tempo, explanation of sets and reps, the different exercises. Now, each of these is a single exercise, and uh, Vince Durand mentions, do not deviate from these. Follow them, and uh, he, he goes over which exercises exercises you want to do on which days, and, and your... Um, Really everything, the intensity you need, the tempo, the, the time under tension, the reps, the, the, uh, the rest period in between each exercise, everything is covered. The diet to follow, of course, you've got the maximum definition diet there. The bodybuilding is 85% nutrition. That's a classic. A lot of people have already read that, but I mean, that's a wonderful thing to read. Of course, you've got your weight gaining hi uh, t hints there. Uh, in here also is is the positive nitrogen balance balance system diet. It's near the end, and it's essentially very similar to the maximum definition diet. A couple of things are changed, but I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you the first couple sections, um, and I hope you really like and enjoy this because uh, when I first read this, it was just unbelievable, the wealth of knowledge this man has. So this is the immortal instructor, Vince Gironda. Essentially, it is a short biography uh, detailing the people he's trained, his long, illustrious career in in uh, the gym system in, in Hollywood, um, as far as the, the actors he has trained, what he's followed. This is in his, so he's in his 50s here, so this is a pretty old booklet. I think that would date it to the 60s. Um, but of course, Vin, you got the Vince's Gym logo there. It's just beautiful illustrations. Now, this book is full of beautiful il illustrations. Uh, each of the exercises has the same artwork. Um, you know, you got your, your artist there, and they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. It's a work of art. But let's go over to the next section. This is the developing muscles section. So in this section, it starts off with Vince Gironda explaining the two parts in developing muscular mass, and that is developing more capillaries and more nerve pathways in the body, and that these are both often neglected in modern trainees. He also goes over, in the next section, he goes over the, the overload principle and explains how the faster you work, the more you gain. Uh, his analogy he uses is the sprinter versus the long distance runner, and how the sprinter has larger, bigger, more well-developed legs versus the long-distance runner that has a, a more spindly frame. He also goes over in this section the ideal rep range to follow and mentions how the pump in the 10, 8, 6, 15, which would be the 15 reps at the end there, is not actually to build muscle, it is to fill the muscles with blood. And that that is also important, but that, that people misunderstand that. 
and how Clancy Ross and uh, Bill Pearl mentioned that uh, beyond 15 reps, uh, sorry, beyond 15 uh, sets, you really can't build muscle. To, so keep the workouts fairly short, concise. Uh, in this last section here, he goes over the 72 hours of recuperation for top athletes and how not enough athletes are getting this. Uh, as you can see, this is just two pages. I'm not going to show you this entire booklet, but there's so much information here, stuff I didn't even mention. Uh, this should be word enough for you to get it, I think. It's just unbelievable. I, all all of Vince's stuff is like this. It's it's a work of art. The, the man could really write and just no filler, no fluff, just straight facts. So this section here is the instinctive training. And he says, uh, Vince mentions that many people misunderstand him. They think that he, he is contradictory and actually supports instinctive training, but he doesn't. He says he does not think it is possible to train instinctively. You have to have a good understanding of the human body and the anatomy of the body and, and, and know how to train effectively. And he does. And he said that's the important part of training. Instinct is an animal's way to survive. If we still had this natural facility in all of its ramifications, we wouldn't be eating synthetic and contaminated sprayed food, etc., uh, you can just see, he really was a maverick for his time, just so ahead of his time. The instinctive ego, not instinctive. There, This is instinctive tra uh, ego and not instinctive training. And make off with the girls. You see, it's just, it's just fascinating the way he writes, uh, just so ahead of his time. So this will be the last section I'm going to go over. Uh, and then I'll show you two exercises, but the rest of the booklet uh, I'm not going to cover. So I'm going to go over the tempo here. What is workout tempo? So in this section, he mentions the importance of an evenly spaced workout tempo and to not dilly-dally around. And that a lot of people will, you know, they'll look at magazines and gossip with their buddies and walk around the gym. Nowadays, uh, a comparative thing would be on, being on your phone and messing with your phone and not paying attention to what you're working on. He says, if you find yourself in this trap, it may be beneficial for you to just stop your workout, pause altogether, and get back to it later. Uh, just a, a, an idea, it's just very foreign to us. We would say push on through, but he was, he was different. He would say, uh, stop there, get your mindset right, and get back to the training later. He also mentions in this section, uh, the tempo should be very fairly fast, fairly quick. Uh, you shouldn't have uh, too long of, of breaks in between and that you ha should have good cadence when you work out and to not get distracted, of course. And it's just it's just wonderful. Uh, he also mentions the importance of not overworking. Make sure you accomplish your workout in full, but don't overdo it to allow for your body to actually recuperate and rest. It's just unbelievable. This next section is the explanation of the 10-8-6-15 routine. And here's the exercise uh, I really want to go over here. This is the neck press. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen my video on it. But look at that piece of art. Of course, this is a print, but could fool me. It's an unbelievable quality print. Of course, you've got the artist's name. It's just a beautiful depiction. It's a work of art. And you have the, the perfect explanation for it. Place your hands on a barbell directly over the elbows when in a supine position. Elbow and upper arm should be directly under or slightly in back of the barbell. This is what I mentioned in my video, that if you can pull your elbows to your ears uh, very high up, as close to yours as possible, you'll get an even better stretch. Uh, that's the same thing here. Starting position with the bar should be touching the sternum clavicle junction. I call that that little dit, that little uh, uh, crevice in between your neck and your, your, your sternum there. Uh, that's what I would hit. So that's right at the base of the neck, right at the base there. Press the bar straight up over the sternum clavicle, knees together and drawn back over the stomach, legs crossed. In my original video, I didn't have my legs elevated. If I were to do it over again, I would correct that because uh, Vince Gironda was very adamant of having the legs elevated and so was Larry Scott. So I'm trying to make that abundantly clear here. Do that. That is very important. You'll get a better isolation and you won't be able to press off the floor with your feet. This position ensures perfect form and balance, and it does. 
Inhale and exhale on the way up and repeat on the way down. Use a weight of 50% of your maximum on the first 10 reps. So this, this idea here goes for all of the 10, 8, 6, 15 routine. It all works on this same principle. So what I'm about to read works on every exercise in here. The second set, use a weight of 75% of your maximum for eight reps. The third set, use a weight of 100% of your maximum, but you must consider that 100% of your maximum of the weight is what you can handle for six reps only. So it's not a one rep max, of course. It's what you can handle for six reps. The fourth set is the pump or flushing set. This set can be done slightly faster, but keep smooth pumping form. And this is where your, your body, your chest in this case, fills with blood. Maximum should be should be the weight you can press for six reps only. So that's uh, what I mentioned earlier. And that's pretty much all I want to cover uh, regarding the 108615 bulletin. There's a lot more in here. There's a lot more in here, but I don't want to give the whole thing away. Uh, there's many exercises. A lot of them aren't done anymore. Really cool variations. They all have those those just beautiful uh, illustrations. Let's get back to it. There we go. Just beautiful illustrations. They're all like this. Very good detail. It, it literally looks like it was penciled in. Of course, it originally was, but the print is such high quality. I didn't do any touch-up work or anything there. Just incredible. But, of course, you know me. I'd highly recommend this to all of you. Just a fantastic, a fantastic little booklet. Very inexpensive and well worth it. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the 108615 routine, uh, any questions for me, uh, my page, any uh, any recommendations for any pieces of literature, or any uh, any um, ideas for future videos, you just let me know in the comment section. Of course, I'll get back to you. I try to respond to everybody as fast as possible. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.